just one more try with hanging my little tripod-y thing from my rear view mirror but I'm not convinced it's going to work. Hello and welcome to day three of April vlogs. I feel like I owe you an apology because yesterday, yesterday's vlog, I felt like it was just all me going places in the car and not really doing anything interesting. There was certainly very little in the way of knitting and crochet, which is what this little channel is about. Um, and today is going to be a little bit of the same because today is Wednesday and um, I'm off to work. I work on Wednesdays and Fridays um, and I work in a museum in South London. So I drive from North Kent to South London, which is quite the drive. Um, and I work nine to all just before five and then I'll be on my way home again. Uh, Lilia is sick. Um, she came down with some kind of throat bug last night after trampolining and is just feeling dreadful this morning. So my mum is on her way over. Dad's still at home, obviously. I haven't just abandoned the children. <laughs> So my mum will come over and he can go to work, uh, but it's just uh, another added element of things happening that we didn't need to happen. Uh, so right now I am going to do my long drive into work. Oh, and I forgot to make myself uh, my overnight oats last night. I was just so tired by the time I'd finished editing yesterday's vlog that I forgot. So I've got banana bread to have um, for my breakfast when I get to work. Although, to be honest, you saw what, what went into it. It's basically cake. So I'm going to have cake for breakfast. It's all about cake this week. and I'm stuck in traffic where I'm not normally stuck in traffic. Normally I sail through this bit, but I've been stuck here for about 10 minutes now, which makes me think there's either been an accident much further up the road, which is clogging all the roads up for miles around, or there's some kind of roadworks nearby or miles away, but it's clogging up the roads all around. This is the joy of driving in South London. You never quite know what you're gonna get. Look at this old building. I drive past this every day and I've never really noticed it. But now I'm stuck in traffic beside it. I wonder what it was. Shining. I came out of work and 
for a moment I thought I'd left early I couldn't quite understand why it was so light and then I remember that the clocks had gone forward at the weekend so we're now in British summertime boo hiss I much prefer it when the clocks go back anyway that's why it's now so light so I'm driving home in the sunshine which feels a bit weird feels like I'm going home in the middle of the day Phoebe has got to go to an extra trampolining tonight and um, I think Dan is going to take her which means I can head home and just um, sort out our dinner and that for later my mum had stepped in to look after Lilia so she's also sorting out Phoebe with her dinner and stuff so I'm just eating a sugar free rhubarb and custard sweet which is not anywhere near as nice as a sugar filled rhubarb and custard sweet let me tell you right I promise I'm not going to film any more driving you're probably fed up with it from this morning I'm just gonna shut up and get home Post, and I thought that someone had sent me a present because it was just so beautiful and I completely forgot that the other day I ordered a card for a friend of mine and it's this beautiful card and I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop but it's Bagard Cards but I can't re remember if that is the name of the Etsy shop I'm going to show you that's the details on the back the name of the design is Driftwood and I'm going to put the name of the Etsy shop on the screen. So that's the beautiful card that I ordered for my friend. But the envelope had this... This is what made me think it was a gift. How beautiful is that? And there's a tiny little... It's like a little... Um, decoupage. She's like cut a little bird out and drawn on it. It's so beautiful. I would highly recommend this shop. All I ordered was a card and I've got a little miniature work of art. Amazing. Also, oh, there I am. <laughs> also, guess who's here? Mia. Mia. You're not my cat. You're not my cat. Yeah, you don't care. This is the other card that I ordered. How beautiful is this? It's like a ball of yarn and needles as a planet in space. Really pretty and really beautifully wrapped as well. And this one is for, from rather, Samantha Claridge on Etsy. And this is her details. Um, Dan is still out at trampolining with Phoebe which means they're going to be back really late and given that she normally goes to bed at 8 <laughs> we're going to have one very tired little girl on our hands um, she doesn't normally go to trampolining on a Wednesday but she's got a competition this Sunday and it's an extra practice for those that wanted to go and uh, seeing as she's just nailed her somersaults um, she's really enjoying it so um, I've, if you can hear a funny sound it's the oven in the background I'm cooking beetroot <laughs> Um, I've just wound up my uh, Nora George snowdrop yarn which looks even prettier in the ball than it does 
in the scheme. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've talked about this on my last podcast. I'm going to make the souvenir shawl with them. Um, and I figured I'd better get around to getting it all together. And the bag that I have, I also showed on my last podcast. And it's beautiful. And it reminds me of Denmark and lovely things. And it's by uh, Piggy's Market. Um, and that is a Etsy seller that I discovered by a cat of the We So and So podcast. So I'm getting all that together and I might cast that on tonight or I might finish turning the heel of my second drippity drop sock. I'm not sure. I will see how I'm feeling. I am quite tired. Uh, Lilia's having, feeling a lot better so she's just having a nice bath before getting ready for bed. Um, and I think I'm going to sign off now so that I have time to edit this um, and get it uploading. So thank you for joining me for day three. How are we at day three of April already? Goodness me, how are we even in April already? This year is whizzing past. So I will see you tomorrow for day four of April. Bye!